Hi, I'm Nicola and this is the Karcher SC2 Easy Fit Steam Cleaner. This is one of the more budget friendly models in the lineup. So let's get it unboxed. Whilst removing the packaging, I'm going to tell you why I went for this model. And to be honest, it had all the tools I wanted and was within my 100 to 150 pound budget. As this one was in the middle at 129. With many on the market, I chose to go with Karcher as it's a brand I've used in the past and trust that it will be a product worth buying. So we have instructions, cloths, wheels, the various tool attachments and two extension tubes. But this is the main unit. This here is a hand tool which can be used on its own or can attach this cloth for other uses. We have a small round brush that attaches to this nozzle. The brush isn't scratchy but the bristles are quite firm. Here are the two extension poles that will mainly be used with the larger floor tool which again comes with a cloth that attaches to it. So here is everything that we get in the box. Among all the things here, there are two larger wheels and one small rotating wheel. These need to be attached to the main unit. The larger wheel goes on either side of the unit and they attach on with a firm push. The small rotating wheel goes at the front and pushes with a very firm push. When in, it will rotate fully and won't come back out again. I do actually like the look of the unit and I love how compact it is. It also has a clever design where all the tools can be stored easily together. This would be great for storing it in a small cupboard. Right, so let's use it. First, before we turn it on, we need to fill it with water. Just unscrew here and fill from cold. This won't open if the unit is hot, as it has a safety lock to prevent from any injuries. This model has a one litre tank, so hopefully I won't have to refill it too often. There's a four metre cable, which is long enough to reach across most rooms. Now we've filled it and turned it on, we wait. The box said longer, but I found the orange light went off and was ready after just before five minutes. On the gun there are three settings. There's lock, half and full steam, depending on the type of cleaning you're doing. And when finished, I would suggest always putting the gun back to lock when not in use. For my first juice, I'm going to add the two extending poles and the floor cleaner head with the cloth attached. After a quick hoover round, I'm ready to start. Wow. This is awesome. It's steaming the floor with very little effort. The unit is extremely quiet and it freely moves around after you. The best part is it's cleaning, killing germs and all with no chemicals. The proof is on the cloth and the floor isn't left soaking wet or sticky. Now I've tried the floors. I'm going to test the nozzle on the PVC windows where all the dirt builds up. A steam, wipe with a cloth and look at that difference. Okay, so next let's try the hand tool with a cloth attachment and see how it works on fabric. Look at that steam! Now with two children and a cat, this sofa does get some wear. So being able to spot clean, refresh and kill those nasty germs, this is great. It looks significantly cleaner and it's not left soaking wet. Again, the proof is on the cloth. Right, next test, I'm moving to the bathroom. Without using really nasty chemicals, it's always proven difficult to get all these areas completely clean. So for this area, I'm going to try the nozzle with the firm brush attachment. This does take a bit of going over. Maybe I'm moving a bit quick. But look at the difference already. This piece is effective on the shower head and the shower surround. To finish the job, I use a hand attachment with the cloth to steam clean the soap residue and lime scale from the glass. And this is the whole shower completed. I've never seen it so sparkly clean and without using chemicals. Now, where else? I'm going to try the taps, getting in and around the edges, all the lime scale build up underneath, the actual tap itself as it's looking a bit dull. But with a quick steam, it's all shiny. A whiz around the basin and the surrounding tiles and the sink is done. Are you as impressed with the results as I am? Where would you use it next? And the best bit, when you're finished, you can just throw the cloths in the wash. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to see more from me and I'll see you again soon.